Hello Reminders, this is Soro. In this video, we will learn how to create location tracking app using MID App Inventor. Using this app, you can track location of your friends. In this app, we will use the location sensor and Firebase to store our locations. So, let's start. Click on starting project. We are using your MIT App Inventor to create this app. Location Tracking App. That's my first screen here. Let me just design my app here first. So, I will use your one level and click on that screen and make sure this align horizontal and align vertical should be in a center like this. Okay. And we need to drag and drop your one button. Then we need three more levels here like this two and then three and we need one more button two for track location and we need one map click on map you can see that map like this you can use this map with and hide is automatic or you can say fill, fill parent it will be fine like this now in that first level you have to just change to your searching whenever our location is changed then this will update here this one is for searching location okay in that button first button what we will do we will use your whenever we want to turn off our location so we have to use this button so in that here i will use your turn off location in the default this will uh, get your location now i'm going to change that screen color to background i'm going to change background color from your and I will use your any color. I will use your custom color to something like that. Okay, you can use any color here. Now, I need to use your address. Okay, so whenever the location update, so we have to display our address here. So I will use an address. Okay, and in that here, value of zero, and in that is is also zero. We will display the longitude and latitude value here. Okay, and on on that button click. We have to use your track location. Track location. So, whenever someone uh, click on that button, so we can get that uh, longitude and latitude value and we will zoom that map in that uh, longitude and latitude value, it means and that address. Okay. So, now click on the track button and you can change that color also like that. Right. So, that's the design. Now, let's uh, do one thing. We need your sensor. And the sensor is first is location sensor, this one. Okay. And then we need your Firebase storage. Uh, this one is experimental. Drag and drop this Firebase. Okay. Right. Now, we have to connect that app to Firebase because we have to store the location. Okay. So, now uh, let's just create the Firebase first. Dot firebase.google okay and you can see that's the recent project we need to click on add project option and my project name is suppose the coding bus tracking at tcb like that and continue and then disable this and create project go to the continue okay now uh, in the left side you'll find real time database Okay, and then we need to click on the create database, this one. And then next, then enable. Now, what we need to do, we need to go to the rules option here. Okay, and then we need to make that false value should be true like this and make it also true like this and click on publish. Yes, published. Now go to data. Now here, find in the, that URL. Just copy this URL. Okay, copy this. Go to the MIT App Inventor app. Click on Firebase and you can see Firebase URL. You have to paste that URL here. Simple. Now we have connected our app with Firebase. Now go to the block. So whenever someone open our app, okay, so uh, what will happen? We need to uh, fetch the uh, location. Okay, so first thing, click on the location sensor okay and whenever the location is changed okay whenever the location is changed then we will update our label value you can see that is searching it means level one so we will change that value level one set level one text to update it we'll update text to update it right now 
we need to get the location okay so we will store our latitude and longitude value in the firebase okay so how we can do that so we need to use your firebase this one and you will find your stored value this one and in which tag we have to store so i will use your text field okay and that text field is LAT, latitude so value we have to store latitude this one like they just copy paste uh, two more times like this okay and in the second we will use here long uh, and that value we will store longitude and here we will store the address okay so how we can get that address so remove it from here for right now we will store the address uh, from where you can see the location sign here and you will find the get current address option get current address you can see the current address this one so just copy paste this one here and use this one here and remove it and just type here address right now we have three fields we have it stored on our firebase now we have to fetch that value okay now click on firebase db now we have to get that data in our app okay so for that whenever the data is changed okay this one this we will call then we will we will get that uh, the value tag value okay now suppose the location is changed uh, then the latitude value is stored in our firebase db okay so how we can get that so we will use your condition control and if okay if the value it means logic drag and drop this equal sign if the tag is equal to let this one tag okay then we will store our information in that level which one level in that one latitude this one level three and this one is level four right so level three and level four so we will store our information in level three level three dot set text this one and we will store that value like this oh sorry we have to change that value Try this as if we will use uh, more as if here like this and if the time is equal to long okay then we have to store that longitude value it means value is in that level 4 channel level 4 okay now if the tag is address okay so we will use one more else if okay and then just check the condition first to make sure the tag is address then we will store that address value in our level 5 oh there is no level 5 go to the design check this one is address it means level 2 okay so go back select level 2 and that value is address right now we have we are getting that value here okay now whenever whenever someone click on that turn off location button so we have to hide our location okay so how we can uh, how we can make this app to stop tracking our own location so we will use your one flag variable define one variable and the variable name is flag and that flag value is suppose zero in the initial stage okay now whenever i click on that button it means turn off location button this means button one okay so whenever i click on that button one like this then we will set that flag value zero to one right this one now what will happen whenever we store the location whenever we store the location in firebase so we have to check if if the condition okay if the flag value okay if the flag value is equal to zero okay if the flag value is zero then we will store all this location right otherwise not otherwise we will not store location right so if i just turn off whenever i click on that uh, button one it means our, my tracking location is off now that we have stored now whenever someone uh, click on that track location okay it means button two so click on that button two this one so we have to zoom our uh, map click on map and you can find here that the uh, bang this one okay the longitude and latitude so the longitude latitude value first thing latitude value in level uh, 3 so level 3 dot text this one level 
four dot text values here, and then we will make the zoom value to around ten. You can increase this value to make it more uh zoom. Okay, it's depend on you. Now this is fine. Now. What we need to do, we need to do one more thing. We can use here one uh, more thing like whenever uh, if you want to turn uh, turn on your location, okay. So how we can uh, do that? So we will use your condition. So use control F, okay, and we will use your maths shack like this. If the flag value, it means cat flag value, is equal to zero, okay. Then set this value flat to one, but but as uh, you can say as simple, if the value is not zero, then we will make it zero like this. But uh, here, what I will do, I want to change that to the text and uh, the design of that button. Okay, so what I will do here, whenever we want to turn off our location, so we have to click on that button set background color okay so whenever we turn off our location okay then we will change that background color and the color i'm to make this one is red right okay and we need to change that to one more thing here click on button one and you can see button one dot text where is this button one dot text we have to change this one also and in that text value I will use here the uh, value is turn on your location. Turn on location. Okay, but if the value is uh, one and if we want whenever I click on again, then this value will be zero. Then what we'll do? We will set this button color to green, background color to green, and the button dash we will make it as a turn off. Okay, like this. Oh, that's the overall code to track someone else's location using this app. Okay, you can take a screenshot of that code. Oh, make sure don't forget flag. Like this. Hey, that's the screenshot. Okay. <laughs> right. So, that's the overall code to create an app to track location of uh, uh, your friends or someone using your own app. Okay, so if you have some doubt, you can ask me on comment and please just suggest some uh, tips if you want to improve this app. So let me just suggest on comment. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel, like this video and share this video. Have a nice day. Be safe. Bye-bye.